Hi, I'm Ellie Deutsch here at Social Media Strategy Summit uh, in Chicago, and I've got Lisa Larson here from Walgreens that's going to talk a little bit more about her session that she did this morning on analyzing customer feedback and data. So, Lisa, thank you so much for being here and joining us uh, to do this video. Well, thank you for having me. Um, we'd love to learn a little bit more about um, your background and what you do at Walgreens and how you got to Social Media Strategy Summit. So really the main issue I was speaking about today was social risk. And social risk is something that not a lot of people are looking at. And when you look at social, there's so many people talking about your company. You really need to be aware and you need to be listening to them to understand what risk is out there. Because there's financial risk and there's brand risk. And you've got to make sure that you get that information and to get it back to your executive teams so they can hear it and understand what their customers are saying about the business. So how do you at Walgreens uh, mine through all the different data and customer feedback that you get and then propose a strategy towards your team and your departments about ways to handle that risk and other things that might come about? There's multiple tools we use. There's just not one tool that fits all. You know, we'll use anything from Hootsuite to Twitter's API, Crimson Hexagon. They're all different tools that we'll use in combination to find as much as possible. And then we'll look at all areas and we'll kind of mine the data out and look at it to see what is it the customers are saying? Where is the biggest impact? Is this an issue that we need to bring up to our executive team? Because sometimes you'll have things that you won't bring up to them. Other times there are issues that they need to hear about right away. Mm -hmm. So really it's based on velocity, volume, and people of influence. So if you have news media talking about you, that's people of influence. You know, if you have a bunch of volumes happening, then that's a large group of people talking about you. You're looking at that. And then if you have all this in velocity, where it's just raising, 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 it may have started small, and you look at it and you say, hmm, okay, we're going to watch this. And also, all of a sudden, it goes into this huge velocity. You see a rise. That's when you take a really close look at the impact. So mining through all of that data, extracting it, trying to figure out what the story is from people's issues and complaints or just a, a potential risk, um, what are the things that you guys specifically pick out as, you know, these call for a really heavy escalation protocol or, you know, kind of right crisis or risk uh, factor for you? It really varies. You have everything from the situation I spoke about in regards to Nicki Minaj. I mean, I don't think people would think of Nicki as a risk when you realize she absolutely can be a risk because she will bring in a large group of customers. And if we don't take great care of them, they'll leave and never come back. Mm -hmm. And we love that demographic and we want them there with us. So we listen to her and then we react on it. And then you have the situation with the, the Rolling Stones and the Bomber Edition. There's different things you will listen to to say, how should we react to this issue? And we'll bring certain things up to the, the executive teams. Other things like Nicki Minaj, we're picking up the phone and calling the stores to make sure they're prepared. We're going to move fast and on our own. Other issues need to go to our executive teams so they can actually make those decisions. So talk about the infrastructure of your company, how your um, data risk and analysis department and consumer relations is all set up for you guys. You know, for us, it's all based on analysis. You know, we are really a team of analysts. So if you look at risk, what you're really looking at is data and numbers. And you need people that can actually extract it and then move it in ways that they can make sure that the executives understand how much it is and what it means. And then you have to have people put in a place that can tell that story. Because really executives, they don't want a bunch of pages of just data. They want to understand what it means. So you almost have to humanize that information. You have to turn it into stories. So taking data and then turn it into a story and then using the customer feedback, their examples of what they're saying and their exact words, that's huge because what executives really want to know is what the customers are saying. And there's no better example than pulling those pieces out of social media. So at Walgreens, you guys are a global corporation, and I know that you probably have a bigger team than most. What would you say um, for those smaller businesses or corporations of the world um, as a tip or a trick that they can start um, implementing to start understanding the risk and potential um, things and issues that may come up for them? Most companies have a customer care team in social media, and you can utilize that team. They're out there looking for customer issues. If you add on business issues into that, and they can just pull forward that information and get it to someone who can look at it and say, should this be going to my executive team? Mm -hmm. You know, that's the best way to start. 
you know, and unfortunately, a lot of social and customer care teams, they do have time. You have to realize in social media, there's peaks and valleys. Utilize that extra time they have to look for social risk. Really grow that team. It also, you know, it educates the CSRs on what different things they should be looking for. And also will notify the customer care team at your call center what could be coming down the pipeline for them. Mm -hmm. Because if someone's talking about something, you know, on the internet, there's a good chance it's going to move into your call center pretty quickly and that will increase the rise in calls. So one last question or statement, I guess. What's uh, a one trick of the trade that you would say is, is a go-to that all people need to know about analyzing data and customer feedback and potential risk? What was key to us was, was hiring an analyst, was hiring someone who was really good at looking the data and really turn it into meaningful information. And it's interesting because a lot of people will say, well, that's a cost. When you look at that cost compared to what it could cost you for your brand, mm -hmm. it's immeasurable. One bad issue can cost a company millions. We've all True. seen examples. And an analyst is not that expensive. You know, hire one, put them into play, get some great tools out there, and really start looking at that data and understanding, you know, you can save the company millions. The truth is, most of those companies that had really bad situations happen, and I was at a presentation where someone was speaking about them, you know, if they had someone looking at the risk ahead of time, mm -hmm. they probably would have stopped it immediately, understood it was a mistake, addressed it, and saved the company a lot of money. Excellent. Thank you so much, Lisa. Um, it was great to meet you, nice and I'm glad you. you could speak and share all your insights with us. Um, signing off from Social Media Strategy Summit, Lisa Larson of Walgreens and Ellie Deutsche of Garrett Popcorn Shop. Stay tuned for more.